walking around here talking about they putting in work. I don't see it. Say that. I don't see the work. Where the work at? That's what this shit is about, y'all. It's 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 all power to the movement, all power to the motherfucking mm -hmm. young I don't know about none of that, but what shit you telling me? King, you'll never be. I can see you with your face. Hell no, give a damn who you go and get. Real nigga know it, we can notice that you nick your way wrong. I don't give a fuck how many police officers they bring out here. That's right. As long as these babies dying, we shut shit down. We talking to our people. We making our motherfucking point. I don't care if they bring the whole goddamn. Matter of fact, they did damn near bring the whole goddamn task force out here. And the chop. And the goddamn chop. Power to the people. Power to the people. Go to the other side, the other side, the other side, my man, Marky, my boss, he don't want nobody to come inside. It's all good, this is our community, so we can... I understand Look, no, 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 you don't understand that. We're not sitting around and waiting for the police to come and to help and save our communities. We stepping up and we saying that we accountable for our communities and we accountable for the people that's in our communities, especially women, children, and elderly. Babies out here dying in the street, we coming to your door. By right. right. You disrespecting yes. our people, you got a business in our hood, we coming to your door. Yeah. If y'all here for some TV shit, y'all want to be seen on Fox too, y'all might as well leave with this motherfucker. Because that's how we running out here today. Make sure y'all have all these cars on the day that we gotta go to court, cause y'all gonna need it. All y'all brothers voted against the people. You know and so, let's be very clear. I, I, you know Proposition B. This brother is, is not very for the people. clearly for the people. He's not for the people. What we need is to see the video of that day immediately. Oh, uh, we are. Uh, we're not going nowhere. We'll be here. Right now, what we gonna do is set this bitch down. Ain't no money coming in. Ain't, 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 ain't no money coming in. Y'all wasn't waiting for the police when y'all was smacking somebody you. upside the head. This guy has networks, churches, fancy cars, you know what I mean, million dollar houses, and it's babies in this community that's going without food at night. Somebody has to be frustrated about this enough to do something that will get people's attention, and that's what New Era Detroit did. Man, it's time to wake up! Either stand the fuck up, or sit your bitch ass the fuck down! This shit ain't none of their business! Are we out here killing? No, no. sir! No. Are we out here raping? No. no! Are we out here stealing? No! Are we out here robbing? No! Then what the fuck are those? <laughs> <laughs> Who's I'm, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, Mr. Mr. Preacher. Please, hold on, hold on. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Hold on, brother. Wait, wait. That's not the streets that we live in. But you're telling, but you're saying that, the, the, but you're saying the way out of this is just to say stop killing. No, I didn't say that. Uh, you look like a smart brother with that suit on, brother. The surveillance video is shocking. Someone shooting up an elderly woman's home. But the reality is this has happened more than once. It's terrifying, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I can't do anything about it. I don't know why he keeps coming this way. So New Era Detroit has decided that it's up to them to patrol in an effort to protect. We're out at two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning at times. Um, patrol. You're patrolling right now. Yeah, we're, we're out right now as we speak. Ain't nobody else losing babies the way black people are losing babies. Nobody. It's time for us to get our together. Realistically. <laughs> Hence, the street code, a Ten Commandment of sorts codified by New Era Detroit in hopes of bringing some order to the chaos that is Detroit crime and prayerfully save a few lives. We gotta get organized out here. We can't just be out here dangling. We can't be out here unorganized. Somebody come and take one of ours. We gotta be ready. We gotta be ready. We ain't just gonna let motherfuckers come to the hood and do whatever the fuck they wanna do. Y'all gotta believe that. They're also skeptical 
because this area of Flint has yet to see the National Guard roll out that other areas have seen. Residents here say they haven't had a knock on their door, they haven't been checked on. And in fact, if you might be able to see over my shoulder, there is a group called New Era Detroit, which has come in from Detroit. They've got volunteers from Toledo and from Philadelphia. Where the government has not provided water, they are trying to provide water for their own neighbors. So community stepping in. They're still waiting for that uh, cavalry to come, the, the cavalry that Governor Snyder promised, Thomas. When I say who motherfucking street this is, I need y'all to clean that street. Who street? All streets. Everybody talk about man this. I'm real this. I'm king this. I'm God this. Ain't no kings and no gods sitting around letting kids get killed. Meet in the streets, New Era Detroit taking its message to different neighborhoods throughout the city every Friday night for the next six weeks. This is a call out for men in the community to step up. Um, we have too much uh, senseless crimes, too much senseless violence. Um, uh, most importantly, uh, we losing too many kids here in the city of Detroit. Y'all serious? Damn right. Y'all dedicated. Damn right. Therefore, y'all got to make change. Everybody talk about the community needs to change. Everybody talk about what we need to do. Stop from everybody get their ass up off their fucking couch and get out here and put some fucking work. Because that's what time is. Stop it. Get off the goddamn computers. Get your ass off Facebook. Get your ass off Instagram. Get your ass out here in the streets. New Era Detroit also reaching out to help some of the city's residents during this public health crisis. They're providing transportation for seniors and single mothers who otherwise would have no way to get to the store for food and medicine. Volunteers are also doing safety welfare checks and looking in on the elderly who may feel isolated or in need of help. Especially when so many people are thinking about themselves right now, grabbing, you know, over excessive um, items of toilet paper and food. You know, you're not really leaving um, a lot for people who really need those items. So it's our job um, as, as leaders in the community, community organizers, um, to look out for the most need. How y'all feel? Help! How y'all feel? Help! This shit for y'all. We out here for y'all. Making sure that y'all straight. We love y'all, dog. They not gonna tell you that shit. Ain't nobody gonna look y'all in the face and tell you that they fucking love you and they'll put their life on the line for you. That's why we out here. That's what New Era Detroit is. We fucking love our people. And ain't nothing gonna come between that. All power to the people. All power to the people. Kids is out here getting snatched up and women is out here getting killed and buried in our streets. We gotta be serious about what we doing out here. New Era Detroit says no more as its founder Zeke unveils its new street code, a guideline for survival for women and children. We wanna make sure that there ain't no sisters out here walking in the streets by themselves at any time at this point. We wanna make sure kids 16 and under, you know, we wanna make sure that by the time that the, that the street lights come on that they get to the crib. Those are just two of the 10 rules. They come as Detroit police investigate the recent killings of several women on the city east side and the attempted abductions of children. I want to talk to my brothers right now. It ain't nothing keen about kids getting killed and y'all talking about the lions. It ain't nothing godlike about women being snatched up and y'all sitting talking about LeBron James. If we out here and we being serious about the growth and development of our communities, then let's be serious. Y'all yeah, know people come and go, man. People come in here saying that they want it and they hungry and they and they want to make change and they let little shit come in between that. Right. Yep. We don't let shit come in between nothing. Exactly. We ain't let nothing come in between nothing. That's right. Who motherfucking neighborhoods and who motherfucking community is this? Oh, we will shut this motherfucker down, bro. Zeke, the president of New Era Detroit, told me he has talked to grieving mothers after they have lost a child. It's a conversation he's had way too many times over and over again. Crime, poverty, education. To Zeke, they're all intertwined, and that's why today he is looking for solutions. It's, it's heartbreaking. You know, I talk to a lot of uh, mothers and a lot of cousins and a lot of families, um, you know, and I, I'm just tired of having these same conversations over and over. And that's the type of mindset and mentality that we got to have with whatever we do.
we got to bring it to the people. It ain't no sitting back waiting for people to come. We got to go get to it. We got to organize black folks. If it ain't about organization in our communities, I don't want to hear shit about it. If I don't see politicians out here every single day without it being election time, I don't want to hear your motherfucking mouth. If I don't see brothers out here, out here for these children that's murdered in our streets and out here for these women that's being snatched up on our streets, I don't want to see your ass nowhere else neither. I need exactly. motherfuckers on my team to the left and the right of me that's 100% down with what we doing. Period. Not fucking 50%, not 70%, not 80 Coming not into it 90, with your own but motors. 100%. Absolutely. Because that's not what we need. We not, we not trying, we're trying to create an environment that is, is anti that bullshit. We out here today, not about nothing else, but to look ourselves in the mirror. Because what's going on in our communities with these babies is completely unacceptable. It's another pandemic that's going on uh, in this country and in black communities all across the country. And, and that's the murders of, of little babies out here in our communities. Yes, sir. Every single community, every black community is losing babies left and right due to foolishness in our own motherfucking communities. Now, if people can get all outraged and upset about all the shit that's going on with police, right. rightfully so, yeah. we supposed to be on their ass, but we supposed to be on the ass of these people who out here killing our babies. That's right. That's right. We supposed to be on their ass too. That's right. It ain't no in-betweens when it come to this shit. Don't worry, I said we gonna shut this bitch down. We gonna shut this bitch down. I'm sure, I'm sure you're aware that somebody got shot and killed. Yes, sir. Here today. Yes, sir. So you know what we're doing right now is just making sure that this is a safe environment for the community. Absolutely. They want to come out here when the TV cameras out here. They want to come out here when shit's sweet, nigga. This a this real shit, bro. We ain't asked for no type of publicity, nigga. This what the fuck we gotta do in our community, bro. The whole shit down for real. All that fake ass shit, bro. They can't open back up, bro. At the end of the day, that's just what it is. It's what it gotta be. What we gonna do? Organize. What we gonna do? Organize. What we gonna do? Organize. New Air Nation. What we not gonna do? Let no! Three-year-old got shot in Chicago on Father's Day. Five kids got shot in Detroit. Not a march, not a protest for them babies. Not one. Not a king and a group of motherfuckers step up and say, dog, we want this nigga too. We outlawing that, bro. You can't come to our hood and kill no motherfucking kid. We moving, we for progress, we in motion. Okay. It don't matter how, how big the steps are, as long as we taking them. And we gotta continue to keep taking these steps, man. And we gotta continue to keep working at it. It's not gonna happen overnight. We gotta hit these doors, we gotta talk to our people. Listen to our people. Listen Speak. to the people. We got all these Negroes out here with all these great ass ideas and plans and they went and talked to a single Negro in the black community. You don't even know what the people want. But you in these rooms talking about something, oh, we gonna do this for the black community and take the black community to the next level. And nah, nah, you ain't never, I ain't seen you in the black community, nigga. <laughs> Them days over with. We coming to hold all that shit. I'm standing next to you, these are y'all brothers and y'all sisters. Y'all hold them down by any means necessary. Y'all see y'all brothers out here in danger? Put that motherfucking phone down and get your ass out here and help your people. You feel me? I want to know what our biggest problem is. We continue to keep taking a stand instead of becoming a stand. I don't think y'all heard me. I said we continue to take a stand opposed to becoming a stand. There you go. There you go. See, you take a stand after something happened. Yeah. You take a stand when you become reactionary. Yeah. You become the stand when you make it a lifestyle. Watch out. 
organization. Yeah. organization. You know what we do, man. Six year anniversary, all power to the motherfucking people, NED. We're a nation. We're a world. Around 500 families on Detroit's west side got some much needed supplies this afternoon. Yeah, the group New Era Detroit walked through neighborhoods, passing out food, water, other resources to boost communities during this pandemic. Yeah, good looking out New Era Detroit, always doing good shit, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Detroit all day. I you know what I'm saying? You already know what time it is, man. We got to hit the communities, we got to engage, we got to organize, we got to strategize. And we got to get more and more people to make organization a lifestyle. That's who we are. That's what we do. All right, without further ado, let's turn the fuck up. Get them right fist up in the air, y'all. I'm going to just show respect, bro. When I see you, and I see y'all coming up, I look at each other, and see y'all coming in. And then when I see y'all coming in, you're giving up stuff, bro. Thank you, bro. I swear to God, I'm going to give you a hug. out here harming babies um and the babies should always be and feel protected so we're gonna keep that shit going man there's much love to everybody um, who came out here it's gonna be a real dope show so y'all just sit back man watch this shit you feel me any you feel me it's the movement i came to this man i week later i said when you gonna go down he been down already and check it out then he asked the brother jumped on it right away and i said we were so impressed but i said z done went down there already they showed their breast and we got some respect thank you for that's it you work hard man. You're a good man i love it how many more negroes do y'all need to see coming to your city selling tickets to sit down and sell you a lecture in a book and get their ass off somewhere how many It's time for us to get serious with it. Yeah. We are who we've been waiting on. We are who we've been waiting on. That's right. So that's why we're getting together in Detroit right now. Yes. Setting the standard. Yes, setting sir. the bar. Yes. Up in our hoods. Yes. With our chest out. Yes. With our women. Yes. And our children. Yes. Saying we done with this shit. This is our community. These are our people. And we here to stay. New Era Detroit is here to stay. New Era Elite. This here to stay. The streets is watching the program. It's Only God can judge me. That right? Only God can judge me. Nobody else. Nobody else. All you other motherfuckers get out of here, man. Have a good night. What happens? I was drawn to the facts. Stabbed in the back. I couldn't trust my own home. Just a bunch of dirty facts. Will I succeed? Have it knowing from the beat. I need a motherfucker right now. Y'all gonna have to call the superior down here. Or somebody gonna have to come down here. Well, Mr. Superior, I'm, I'm gonna make a phone call and I'm, I'm gonna see you. And we can get that removed. This is something that we doing for our people and what we doing for our community. I've been organizing in this city for six years. I don't get permits to go in my own community. So we can talk that up to whoever we need to talk that up with. And that's no disrespect, but we got people to feed out here. We got stuff to do out in our communities. And it's about our people in our communities. We're not bothering y'all. It's not a protest against the police. So this should be something that y'all walk on at this point. Because we don't want it to be anything else. Cool? Appreciate y'all. you have your permit, sir? No permit. I just told you that. I talk a lot about, you know, we got to make this the new cool. Yeah. You know, <laughs> because the dumb stuff that's cool, the shooting, the killing, you know, all the craziness that is being pushed on social media, mm -hmm. um, you know, all of those things uh, has been a real hindrance. Sin is believing. I don't know what else more we need to do to show y'all that we gonna work as hard, if not harder, than anybody for our people on a day in, a day out basis. I don't know how many more videos we gotta put on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube so that y'all can see that this shit is not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. 